Hello, I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. But yes, so tonight, art night. But yes, tomorrow we will see. I suppose I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Well, I guess not, because this is this is the time that I talked about the schedule. So let's talk about the schedule. So yes, once again, already mentioned things. But yeah, I think I should double check. I do need to double check, but I don't believe we're currently angling for a collab net on this Friday. But yes, which would in turn mean that we would be angling for one next Friday. We will see what happens though. But yes. So, yeah, most likely, assuming no collab, tomorrow will be Arc Nights, and again, we shall see a little bit. But yeah, a little bit late today, which is not unheard of, but it's a little bit rare for me to uh, continue when I've been this late. So, yeah, I was uh, a little bit distracted before stream by, uh, we'll just say it's good, basically. I won't go into too, too much detail, but I've touched upon it a little bit recently. Yeah, I've been having some personal struggles and I'm definitely, today I'm feeling a lot better. We'll put it that, that way, feeling a lot better. And hopefully, I'm hoping that things will be, continue to improve in the near future. But yes, so next week, Assuming nothing terribly unusual happens, hopefully we should be seeing the, I always want to say the usual schedule, perhaps the desirable schedule, the planned schedule. It very rarely turns out exactly as planned, so saying usual feels a little bit presumptive, but all of this is to say next week, I hope to be streaming Arc Nights on Wednesday. And then Friday will, as usual, be a collab or Arc Nights day, depending on circumstances. With, again, the possibility going forward of additional days being added to the schedule. Or just sort of done out of the blue. Or a little bit of variety. But yes, no Operator Spotlight prepared today. Um, yeah, basically I just have been a little bit busy. Yeah, things have happened a lot this week. Yeah, I've been called into work extra this week. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot going on. Yeah, earlier this week, I had a coworker be sick. This week, or these next few days, I, yeah, I have a coworker out of town, so I'm having to pick up, you know, extra work and all that. But yeah, again, I work at a place in a very small town. So there, there are uh, two employees, not including the management. So when one person is out of town or sick, that means that uh, a lot of duties fall upon me. Or upon, you know, my co-worker. Assuming that it is me. But yes, anyway, so, Arc Nights. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I usually don't do any rolling on stream. I don't necessarily have a strong r rule against it or anything, I just haven't bothered. <laughs> but I figure, you know, why not? I've got a free 10 roll from this event. Yeah, I believe I've mentioned it before, but usually banners with a, with a limited character will give you a free 10 roll at the start of the banner and one free roll each day. I've already used my free roll this day, but we'll use a free 10 roll and we'll see what we get. I think the last time, the last time that I got a, uh, did any rolling on stream was back during, uh, our, the, uh, Monster Hunter collab. Yeah, no six star here. We did get, a, we get, did get two five stars from the looks of Hello, things. I'm Hayes. I like relaxing work environments and an employer who knows better than to bother me with too many questions. Hmm. I feel like... Hayes' voice is a little bit unfamiliar to me. I wonder... She must have gotten an English voice relatively recently. I've not used Hayes a whole lot. So she could have just had one for a while. 
and I've just not paid that much attention. But it definitely, it feels relatively new. Of course, everything is relatively new if you take a broad enough perspective. But yes. Pop Car is also relatively recent, I think. She was the last member of Team A6 to get a voice. I do believe. Just call me Almond. Are you the doctor Jessica's always talking about? Let me get a good look at you. Hmm. You seem fine and normal, I guess. I think this is the first time anyone's described the doctor as normal. Frostleaf, former mercenary. Good old Frostleaf. No, I'm your operator. Assign me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit rude to skip over her after calling her good old Frostleaf, but you know. Pay me like my other employers, and we'll be good. You brought me here to mm. hang. I uh, think I wrote yeah, my name on a document she was supposed to sign. And she said it was fine though. Now that I've signed it, I get to come here to hang out all the time. Nifty. Oh, yes. Uh. Yeah, this is completely un uncharted territory for me. Despite playing the game a whole lot, I don't keep up with it very much. I don't keep up with video game news very much in general. Yeah, we're out of the realm. Yeah, we're out of the realm of definite new characters, so I can probably skip the rest of these. Well, okay, there's not much else to skip now. But anyway. Anyway, Green Buds there was definitely new to me. I hadn't seen anything about her. Yeah, I had seen Shu mentioned a little bit before. But yeah, she is a character who has a connection to certain other characters who are fairly important to the lore. Yeah, again, that's something we'll go into much later on. Not going to discuss for right now. But she's also involved with this current event, which we are also pointedly ignoring. But yes, anyway, so, where were we? Great Chief Returns, right. So yes, and where were we on the gameplay, now that I think about it? We did, hmm. Okay, I was gonna say, we did, we did do at least one stage. I think we only did one stage. Yeah, that looks, yeah, okay, okay. So yes, I think, this is as far as we got, and I don't think we did the story for RI2. So yeah, we might not have a whole, whole lot of time, but we'll have some time. Ooh, isn't that a nice vista? Oop. Rainforest, same as ever, huh? It's been a really long time, hasn't it, Gaviel? Never liked this place. Air stifling on the ground gives too easy. Can't place a single firm step. A lot of tribes have moved into the rainforest, though. That's so. Hey, Doctor, looks like you're up. How'd you sleep last night? Decent? Not that. Not bad. You adapt fast, huh, Doctor? Huh. Thought you wouldn't be able to stand roughing it out here. Didn't I tell you, Doctor? You gotta be ready. It's not about to get any easier. Here, scrounge up what I could find nearby to make some soup. Go on, and it'll wake you up. Hey, speaking of which, I never realized it until I went looking, but actually there's a lot of medicinal plants that grow around this rainforest. Gaviel's actually taking care of people. It, Gaviel, I didn't sleep good either. Huh? And you call yourself an Archosauria? Arcosoria. Gaviel doesn't remember our original name. Hmm? Oh. Ugh. Did forget. I mean, Tiku. Tikao. Don't I? <sighs> don't think I've... I don't think I've used that word at all since I left. Doctor, you make a note to yourself. We don't divvy ourselves up by race here. I mean, from that perspective, uh... Let me think. I'm an Arcosoria. Zumama's a Fidia. And there's also the Liberi. Yeah, that's your three, more or less. But we all count ourselves as Tikao. 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 
means one valiant in war in our language. Also, not that I think you're going to need it, but you might like to know we call this place Akahuala, land where the forest overgrows. Alright, enough bawling your eyes out, get your people in gear and let's move. Hmm... Rhodes Island. Doctor. Oh, yeah, right. So, a company is... Ah, I know that. Since you left, Gaviel, I've been learning about the outside world. Oh, yeah? That adds up. You dress differently now from how you used to. Now that I think about it. Yep, this is really fashionable on the outside. I don't really get fashion. Is she right, Doctor? I don't believe I've ever seen anyone else dressed quite like Tomimi in this game, or uh, elsewhere. <laughs> There's something even you don't know, huh? Oh yeah, Tomimi, how about you introduce the doctor to our place? I've been away forever, I don't know what's changed. Sure. Okay, let me think. What should I tell an outsider? You're right, let's start with the tribes. Look at this map. Here's where Gavio landed, and here's the path we took. Another interesting sight, this. This big forested area is our Hak Akuhua. Traditionally, every type of Hak Akuhuala, big and small, joins in the ceremony where we choose the next great chief. Oh, and the ceremony is a trial by combat. Whoever beats all the other challengers and earns their recognition gets the right to challenge the current Great Chief. If they defeat the Great Chief, they become the new one. Now, the power of the Great Chief, every tribe listens to what she says, for starters. Sounds like nothing's really changed, then. Something has. One day, the last grief chieftain, Juan, drank too much and his wife chased him to the edge of a cliffside. He jumped off of it and never came back. Our last ceremony was to pick his successor. But some stuff happened with Gaviel, and we never chose a great chief, and never since Gra Gaviel left, none of the tribes have really gotten along with each other. So, now we've all been stuck fighting each other. A former great chief. Mm what? That part's actually normal for us. My dad said Great Chief Juan was one of the longest Great Chiefs ever. We'd usually get a new one every two or three years. Whenever we lose a Great Chief, we do the ceremony to pick a new one. Now, what was that about Gaviel? What? Oh, yeah, I never told anybody about at Rhodes Island about that stuff. I beat every single comer to the whole thing, and then I left. Every single one? That's not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I was upset. Went and knocked all their lights out. Anyway, that's another story. Any especially strong tribes running around? Yeah, it looks like I'm having some frame drop issues. Hopefully that won't persist. I did a little bit of a... Yeah, I did a bandwidth test earlier and I noticed the same thing. And it looks like it's uh kind of bad, so... Remember the VOD channel, <laughs> if you want to see the, the stream frames undropped. Anyway. Yes, a bunch of them are pretty powerful now. First is the one that Zumama leads, the Unectes tribe. She settled her tribe in another part of the rainforest near a lot of ore veins. She has a hold on most of our metal resources. That tribe always liked making weird tools and weapon things. They've absorbed a lot of the small tribes that surrounded them. Second is Kimar's Flint tribe. The rainforest Tik Tikau don't live quite the same as the rest of us. They're a lot more scattered. Normally, they don't even communicate with us. But because we have no great chief, a lot of tribes ended up going into the rainforest. Kimar's is one of them now. They were confident enough in their own power to take a piece of territory for themselves. 
there's one more tribe that's pretty notable. I think you recognize them too, Gaviel. Enom's tribe. Her tribe's called the Enom Committee. The people in it act kind of weird. None of them really like fighting people, but they all like doing business. There are a lot of them, too. Don't underestimate them. I can picture it now, right now. Zoomama setting up her tribe next to a mine. Yeah, ever since way back, she's loved making those weapons of hers or whatever. Wouldn't have thought she'd be bossing a clan now, though. Unectes is a nice ring to it. Yep, Zumama's Unectes tribe is the strongest one, too, and everyone thinks she's going to be the next chief. Not surprised. Kid's been pretty capable for a long while. So, uh, Gaviel, are you really not going to be the next great chief? Nope. There's stuff on the outside I gotta do. Right, Doctor? You can stay if you want. He probably doesn't want to, but we'll give her the option. Hey, there'll be a day when I come back here, but it's not today. Hey, you said you were gonna you were gonna go for it in your letter, right? And you were confident even? Um mm-hmm. I trained a lot for it. And I'm looking forward to the show. Huh? Do I hear fighting? Over that way. Let's go see. Will you say it or not? Like I would. <laughs> you got backbone. Uh, hey, they're fighting. Doctor, we can leave them. Let's just go. This happens all the time. You're done for, Thin Tails. I'm gonna make you admit Thick Tails are where it's at. Yeah, in your dreams, like I'd ever give in. Huh? Hey, what's your face over there? What did you just say? Who are you? Don't tell me you're a Thin Tails, too. <laughs> did I catch that right? You think Thick Tails are better? What? Obviously. Take a look at mine. Sturdy, strong, plump, and plush. What's better than a nice thick tail like this, huh? <laughs> well... Can't pretend I didn't hear that. Take a good look at my thin tail here. Slim, refined, clean, distinct contours. <laughs> I can even grab things with it. Now this is a tail. I hear that. Thin tails for life. <laughs> uh, you're kidding? You can't even say a tail like that behind you. Yeah, shout out to yours. I bet you love it when you can't sit down because your tail's so fat. What are they arguing about? I would think that it's somewhat clear, but... Uh, Gaviel's arguing with that one there about thin versus thick tails. It's a pretty common topic for us. You might say of the, the tail is an Archosaurus' greatest pride. People compare them. Whole tribes have even formed on how thick or thin their tails are. I think the one with fighting with Gaviel might be uh, thick tails. Hmm... I've been doing my best to try to pronounce words <laughs> because I feel like it's a little bit more, it's a little bit less respectful to not make the effort. I have to admit, I'm very, very not confident when it comes to this specific word. I would think that it would be Olop. Yeah, because I would think, yeah. Olopitlipol. Olopitlipol. Brothers, come out. Try not to interrupt the flow too much with too much considering. Want to strike a balance between trying and not uh, making too much of a fuss. Today is the day. We make it known that Thick Tails reign supreme. Oh, that's a lot of people. Um, Doctor, I'm going to help Gaviel. Alright, so the battle begins. It might be the only battle of our evening here, but indeed, it shall begin. And now, we make a substitution once again. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Switching out for a particular caster, whom you might be familiar with. Hmm. For whatever reason, I thought that that Tomimi had an English voice. Maybe she does, and I just don't have it set. Whoop. Anyway, so, Tomimi's on our team now. 
No, I was incorrect. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so Tamimi's a caster. She's quite a different caster from other casters. We'll go into her probably after the event or towards the end of it, I think. Yeah. As you can see, she's, you know, kind of involved in the story, so I don't want to go into her backstory too, too much until we've actually, you know, played through the game or played through the event that she's part of. Because, yes, there are some things that we will learn over the course of this. Well, I shouldn't allude to it too much. Anyway. Sit. But yeah, anyway, in addition to, you know, being involved in the event, Tomimu was actually the free character from the event that you could earn. You can still earn her from record restoration and all that. Uh, but yes, Tomimi is this character, or this event's free character, the welfare character, as it is often said. And I don't have a whole lot to say about her other than that, because I've never used her before, as you may have guessed from the fact that she's level 1. But yes, I do know that she has a, a very interesting mechanic in that she is a caster, as we have seen. But once she is, once she, yeah, when her skill is active, when a skill is active, she actually switches modes in an interesting way. But yes, we'll keep Myrtle where she is. So we will need to... How are we going to do this? Um, let's place Estelle there. We'll place... I guess it doesn't matter too, too much. We'll put Korra here for a moment, just to be a roadblock, essentially. And now, we will place... Tomimi. Ah, okay, so, uh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, and I missed that that guy, uh, is a ranged unit, so now we're going to lose Tomimi, which is a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Who needs healing? Come over. So, yes. So, the mushrooms. I didn't comment on those, but, uh, those are a thing. They have mechanical, uh, implications to them. They increase the defense of, ally of adjacent allied units being cleared by a Rhodes Island temporary employee turns into a deployable range tile. So yes, we don't have access to that currently, but you are able to, again, turn them into a usable tile. Yes, unfortunately we're not going to get to see what makes Tomimi unique right away. Um, probably going to want another medic here to sort of protect, yeah, to be able to protect the, uh, well, to be able to protect themselves, I guess, as much as anything, um, as well as, you know, the melee units over on this side. Estelle's really pulling her weight. I guess probably part of that comes from the fact that she's uh, way, way over leveled for this content currently. Yes, we will, we will see. Tomimi's skill in action at some point here, I do believe. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. Of course, I don't have quite the damage that I'd like here. Of course, now I need and now I need to make. Oh, this is fine. I was going to say I need to make a decision, but this is fine, I think. But yes, Estelle is absolutely making a mess of everything. That's a fun line. Hear me, please. I do like Estelle quite a bit. I think, honestly, we can probably swap Myrtle out. I don't think she's strictly necessary at this at this stage. And let's see, we can deploy Kaobe in some positions, but she's not going to be able to do a whole whole lot in a lot of them. But we could always do this. You want treatment, you do things a little bit differently. Oh dear. I was going to say do things a little bit differently from how I was otherwise inclined, but uh, looks like that was a bad move, actually. 
enthusiast. I did forget about targeting priority. I got a little bit, uh, a little bit carried away with the fact that they weren't targeting my ranged units, and I don't know, it just sort of slipped my mind. Yes, now we will see, yeah, or we will see uh, Tomimi's talent in action. So, when her skill is active, yes, her range will change. You can see that she's no longer targeting usual caster range, and instead she's targeting some spaces like immediately around her. Yes, her attacks now deal physical damage and can only target ground enemies, and her attack is greatly increased by 70%. Part of that coming from the potential increase, of course. But yeah, it sort of slipped my mind here that uh, that fire whistle was the reason that the impalers weren't impaling my unit. But yes, now that things have cooled down a little bit, I suppose we can deploy some other units, mop things up a little bit faster. But yes, pretty okay result. Well, you know, no issues. We just lost a few units. <laughs> but no enemies leaked through, everything went okay, and we corrected the mistakes that we made quickly. I corrected the mistakes I made. You didn't make any mistakes. You didn't choose anything that we did there. Could have been a little bit more elegant, but it is what it is. So yes, now we will do the story, and then I think we'll wrap it up. Perhaps goes without saying that this is a little bit of a short stream, considering that we started incredibly late, but it is what it is. <laughs> that, that Weeper's whirl, Whirlwind, Reaper's Whirlwind even, and that hair clip, your, your Gaviel, the one and only, <sighs> just our luck running into you. But don't get ahead of yourself, Gaviel. Not even you could shake our faith in thick tales. Yeah, you're you're such such yeah, you're hot. Yeah. I'm trying to think of good smooth substitutions. Oh well. Yeah, you think you're you're hot. Keep running. Doctor, let's move. I can sort them out the next time I see them. Gaviel, how come you let them go? You used to chase down every last person in a fight and beat them until they saw stars. Yeah, I used to do that. But nah. Now I just think they're kind of cute, right, Doctor? No idea what you're saying, but I agree. Might sound strange coming from me, but this place is full of nothing but boneheads. Nah, whatever. I have to think all the time. I'm outside. I miss it here. I almost miss it here. Gaviel, you really have changed. Hmm? Hold on to me, me, you little brat. Huh? I go away for a couple years and I come back to find your tail's even fatter. What? Gonna try and tell me you're with thick tails too? No, 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 no. It's not like I wanted it to grow so thick. I want a nice thin tail, just like Gaviel's. Well, shucks. What a poor kid you are. Well, watching you fight back there, your arts are pretty strong now, huh? When she's able to deploy and isn't undone by my my own tactical blunders. Really? Yeah, come over to Rhodes Island and be an operator. Should be no problem for you. Op- Red- Sir? Operators are, uh, well, I guess it's a job. Like me, I'm a medic operator. I remember you were still learning from the shamans when I left, right? Yep. I've been disciplining myself every day for you, Gabriel, so one day you'd come back. For me? Oh, um, but by that I mean when, for when you come back so I could help you out, like I did just now. Well... You really did help out then. Well done. <laughs> oh, I love it when you compliment me. Cool. Let's keep moving then. Do I remember the temples just ahead? Mm-hmm. 
Necti's has got to be the great chief. Look at how strong the whole tribe is. Yeah, and she's at the top of the pile. Everyone said if not Gaviol, then Eunectes, and now Gaviol's gone. Hey, over there. No way. Gaviol? Hey, Gaviol, you're finally back. Whoa, long time no see, huh? Hey, that feather on your waist is nice. Where'd it come from? I traded one of my weapons to Enom for it. Man, your tribe really has it good. Enom can get her hands on anything. I wish I could be with you guys, too. Too bad. Enom hates crowds. But if there's anything you guys want, you can go through me. Deal. Hey, look over there. Is that... Wait, it's Gaviel. He's actually back? Gaviel, so you weren't dead. Alive and well, baby. Brother, come on. Stop trying to make a show. You've got the stone to eat and all. Just go back home and lie down, okay? Who cares? What's a little disease in the face of the ceremony? A little disease is still disease. And think about how bad it'd be for us if you went out there and showed everyone the rocks growing on your tail. Look, Gaviel might be gone, but now Zumam is sure to be the next great chief. That's the part I care about. I need to witness the moment Zumama becomes chief. Ugh. Should have listened to Zumama. Huh? Brother, look over there. It couldn't be. Is that... Gaviel? Has she come back to become great chief? I'm sorry, but now I have to see the ceremony. Yeah, I don't think anyone can miss this now. Huh? Those two look like they're from the Unectes tribe. It really is, Gaviel. You're finally back. I always believed in you, Gaviel. Hey, everyone, look. It's Gaviel. 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 Eh. <sighs> What a rowdy bunch. Looks like we ought to pick up the pace. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves the ceremony, after all. And everyone loves Gaviel, too. Oh, Gaviel. Look at that sign there. Let me see. Scratchy handwriting. Huh, look at that. It says Mahui Zota. Zotia. We're here. Looks like they made some recent re uh, renovations. Wait, what gives with the music? And for that matter, why do I recognize it? Wait, Doctor, this is an AUS song, isn't it? it is it? <laughs> Lots of AUS fans at Rhodes Island, that's gotta be it. Uh, yep, this is an AUS song. How do you know what AUS is? Around this time last year, a bunch of people calling themselves AUS came here from the outside. They held a concert at Enam's tribe first. After that, a whole lot of Tiakua, Tiakau, started treating them like heralds of the Mahui Zochia. Huh? Later on, they were asked to stay for a long performance in the temple surroundings. I got to hear them once. Their music really was powerful and beautiful. You could feel their awesome arts, too. Ever since, lots of Tikau fell in love with this kind of music. And then, suddenly, one day, they disappeared. Everyone said they'd gone back to their ancestors' embrace. But I knew they'd only left, same as Gaviel had. The music playing right now should be coming from those speaker things they left here. I think they also left behind some of their albums? Speakers? Yep, they need arts to function, so only priests and shamans can actually use them, and most of them are in Enom's tribe. <laughs> now that's a bunch of pe- Now that's a band of freewheelers. Can't deny, their songs really get up in there. I haven't even stepped in and they've got my blood running hot. I think I'm beginning to like them. Let's go, Doctor. We're gonna hear some music and enjoy the show.
Yes, some notes. Yes, AUS is short for Alive Until Sunrise, which is an in-universe band. Yeah, I think their existence was first touched upon in a previous event. Uh, I believe it was part of Surging Flame, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember specifically, but we're going to do that event at some point, so I suppose we'll learn. I don't know if they played a part in the, like, actual happenings of the event, but they, alongside a number of other in-universe bands, sort of featured in the little, like, mini-games that sort of surrounded the event. Most events have some sort of, uh, or at least most of the major events, have some sort of little extra thing that goes along with them. Yeah, another thing that I felt that I wanted to point out is sort of the, the designs there. You could see how there were male Archosauria who had sort of the a distinctly more crocodilian build and female Archosauria who had a more humanoid build. But yeah, I don't necessarily... Like, I don't know necessarily that this is sort of like a strict sort of sexual dimorphism thing necessarily in universe. I think it's basically just sort of a, a, what's the word I'm, I'm thinking of? I want to say like symptom or something, but you know, a lot of the time in sort of these fantasy settings, if you have sort of a male and a female of a, of a given species that is supposed to have some inhuman traits, typically the male ones will have more pronounced inhuman traits, whereas the female ones will tend to look more conventionally humanoid. But yes. So again, I don't know that there's like a specific lore reason for that necessarily, but it is, you know, a design conceit that is not unheard of in Arknights as well. Tip. Anyway. I don't know that we've seen any male playable Archosauria, now that I think about it. Yeah, most of the male playable operators do, you know, even if they are from a race that has distinctly non-human features, typically look pretty human, with a few exceptions. But, uh, anyway. I think that's basically everything that needs to be said about the game. So, let's go and wrap things up. So yes, so today has been Arc Nights. It's been a little bit short, but you know, at least it was. Not being a lot is better than not being at all. But yes, as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own. And I suppose we'll go over the schedule. So yes, so again, tomorrow we should be Ideally, playing at roughly 9 p.m. Or, yeah, we should be playing at roughly 9 p.m. Central Time, maybe even earlier if I uh, am able. Yes, roughly 9 p.m. Central Time. Then on, yeah, it will either be the collab or it will be Arc Nights, depending on circumstances. Next week, I aim to do the usual schedule, the planned upon schedule Wednesday and Friday Wednesday 8.30 p.m. then Friday 9 p.m. Again, we will see. We will see. But yeah. All that being said, I think that's basically everything that needs to be gone over. So, let us get a raid set up. It doesn't look like we have any suggestions. So, I think we'll go and visit uh, Vimimi. Vimimi33. It's been a good while since we've seen Vimimi. Yes, a, uh, yes, dwarf VTuber. But yes, he's playing some Final Fantasy XIV right now, it looks like. But yeah. I don't, looking at the numbers that I'm seeing, it looks like he might be doing some content from the new expansion, in which case I'm probably not going to stick around a whole lot. I do intend to play through Final Fantasy XIV at some point, probably not on stream, but I do intend to do it. But yes. That should be everything then. So. Raid is set up. 
kind of forgot to get it started there for a second. But regardless, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine... Oh, hold on. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. There we go. Can't forget that. So yes, now that that's established, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>